Hi, Shannon. Hi, Olive Snook. Hi, everyone who's watching and not saying anything. Hi. Thank you for joining me. We'll just give. We'll, we'll just give. Um, hi, Kim. Hi, says what? DJ King, Leslie, hi, how are you all? Okay, so these are going to be the bags. Notice I say bags. Bags that remind me of summer and they're all Junianburg, of course. Did everybody, first of all, did everybody get their shopping done? Even though they're still 25% off on Dooney right now. Let's hope you did. Okay, so let me start with the first, first bag. And this is my Maddie, my beautiful, beautiful girl. I absolutely love this bag. I love it so much. Sharon and I got the same color. It's gorgeous. It's wide enough for me. It's coming off more of a um, corally, reddish coral on here. Hi, Tuny Attic 615, my twin. And it has the feet. And even though I'm such an Amazon, um, even if I don't do this, which I love it this way, if I do that, it really doesn't bother my fat arm that much, but it's still pretty. But I absolutely love it because one, it screams, screams summer to me. This is something that I see with a nice, beautiful linen suit. And when I say suit, it's just a really nice cami and just a wide leg palazzo linen pants. And this, the Isle of Capri or Santorini, mm, this is what you should carry. Love it. So that's the Maddie. And, and then, the Mackenzie. It's fuchsia, it's really looking soft, like a baby pink. Actually, it is, the. It's the same color, it's translating well on camera. This is the Mackenzie. This is my big girl bag. Mackenzie Hobo. Again. It's like so. Isn't that pretty? So I love big, 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 loud bags. My pinks, my red is my favorite color, first of all. Pink is second. And this is one large, big mama jamma. Love it, absolutely love it. <clears throat> what I would love now is a companion piece to go with it a nice pink wallet that would be that would be nice and of course i have it this goes with it i have your slip pockets in here and three credit card slots this is something that you could just run out do errands with love that this is just all summer long Screens summer. 
at the Mackenzie Hobo. And then, I love this bag so much. Oh, my tribe's here. Hi, tribe. Yes, DJ King, you need, you need a fuchsia bag. You really need a fuchsia bag. And right now, this very Mackenzie Hobo is 160 something. It's on clearance on QVC. You need to get it. You definitely need it. And this is my Claremont domed satchel in denim. Tell me this doesn't scream. Let's go. Let's go to the Greek islands. Let's go to the Mediterranean. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. And it just goes perfectly. Again. With the outfit. Yes, it does, DJ King. You are absolutely right. When I was taking it down, I thought the same thing. It goes exactly with my duffel. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. I, I love it. Just, just gorgeous. Just stunning all the way around. Okay, so next we have the patent leather, Janine. Definitely take me away. This is all summer long, beautiful. Gorgeous. So this is in pure white. So she has the opening here. At first, I hated this opening, but I think I'm getting accustomed to it. That snap closure there. I'm used to zipper zipper clothing. Of uh, zipper top, but I think I'm getting the hang of this. This is just a stunning, stunning bag. Hold on one second. I think it's getting a bit dark in here. Let me just pull my light. Okay, it's focusing back now. Okay, so here it is. And I love the Dune Invert down here. It's different. The feet. Everybody, everybody needs. You need a white bag for summer. You need, whether it's pure white, winter white, or bone, you need a white bag for summer. Yes, it is. Absolutely, Olive. It's a classy bag. It really is. White is just beautiful to carry during the winter. And another bag that streams summer. Is my croc zip zip satchel. Yes, Kim, absolutely. And this is my zip zip in yellow. I love this bag. I think this is lemon. I can't remember the name. I absolutely love, love, love this bag. Yes, DJ King, zip zips are one of my favorite, favorite bags. So you... 
I carry it like this mostly with the strap hanging because the strap is really short. So it's about 11 or 13 inches. That does nothing for me really. But like this, I think it's stately, it's sophisticated. And again, it's summer. This is something you take to a nice restaurant on the beach, like an evening dinner. You have like a 6 p.m. early dinner. This is what you carry with you. And it goes on, on the table. It's that, that kind of bag. It's just gorgeous. And it's the croc. I don't, I haven't seen these colors in the croc anymore since I got these from QVC about maybe five or six years ago. I suppose other colors are on Dooney right now, but I've not seen them in this color in the croc. Right, Kim? Yes. Um, this is much bigger than the regular zip zip. These were, these are 13 wide, 13 high. These are much bigger than the zip zip that are on the, um, on the website right now. It seems as if QVC, when they do get theirs, for whatever reason, the measurements are always bigger than what is on Dooney or I Love Dooney. And this one is way bigger because the ones now are 9, 9.5, four wide and about nine in length. And this is 13, 13. Yeah, it is. It is way, way, way bigger. Hence why I got six of them six years ago. Absolutely stunning. So that is all I have now. Which one do you think screams summer the most? Let me know. Oh yes, Suze. Olive, yes, I have the marine as well. Oh, Suze, you have the red? Woman after my own heart. Yes, ma'am. This is like, take me to Santorini. I love Capri. Yes, ma'am. That is Sue. So Sue's favorite is, is Maddie in red. Oh, Sharon says the yellow croc. Oh, Kim, what, that, that's so beautiful. The white, I saw that last night. The white is absolutely gorgeous. And that is the winter white. So it's really pronounced, really pretty. Yes, yes, DJ King. I absolutely agree with you. I'm as, I love, I love, love. But this is, wow. I think this is this my favorite. This is my favorite to carry for summer. I have this in the elephant as well. Stunning, stunning. Yes, Kim, it's definitely Jackie O. This is my favorite for summer. This reminds me most of summer because in my mind, I'm thinking linen, a cute linen top with wide palazzo pants, linen pants, and this with some cute sandals mm, at a beautiful resort. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Latifa. I think this is my favorite, favorite for the summer. So Latifa, let me just give you a quick rundown of the bag since you just got here. Exactly, DJ King, we are, we are here. So this is one, 
This is the patent leather Janine in uh, pure white. No, Suze, I think this is the same size as your as your medium satchel. Yes, ma'am. With big yes, Kim, or with some nice long ones. DJ King, believe me, I thought the same thing that I would never own a white bag. But once I got that, it changed, it totally changed my mind. It is stunning. And because of the pattern, if you just get anything on it, you can just easily wipe it away. Oh, thank you, Kimmy. Okay, so for Latifa, let me go through. I have the Maddie. Thank you, Sue. Here's the Maddie. Here's the Zip Zip. And I think this is lemon or it could be sunflower, but I really think this is lemon. The Zip Zip. Croc Zip Zip. Oh, thank you, Latifa. And then we have the Mackenzie Hobo. In fuchsia. And then we have the Claremont Dome Satchel in denim. This blue is a real contender with the white right now. This denim is, it's giving the white a run for its money right now because, I mean, look at that. So even if I do this, stunning. And I guess it's because of the outfit because it's pulling the colors from the outfit, but wow, absolutely stunning. So I think right now it's going to be between the pure white and the denim and the dome satchel. These are one of my favorite silhouettes from Dooney. The dome satchel, I love it because the Safiano leather is just absolutely indestructible to me. It's just beautiful. If you get anything on it, you just soap and water and you just wipe it off. And I love, I love the silhouette. Stunning. Okay, let me see what everyone's saying. Well, for whatever reason, okay. So you, with the blue one, DJ King, that is, uh, it's called denim. That shade is called denim. I'm just reading what the comments. Thank you, Suze. There's um Oh, Suze, thank you. I don't want to stop traffic, but if they do stop, I do thank them. Oh, Kim, only if you're going to join me. If I'm going to be on a resort, tribe has to be there. The tribe has to be there, of course. Thank you. But honey, we're only going if the tribe, the tribe goes with me.
Yes, ma'am. Try vacation. <laughs> Latifa, I wish I was going out, but Sharon and I, and Sharon's over there, Sharon and I are just sitting at home. Listening to some reggae music and just drinking. Kimberly said I've got those earrings. Yeah, Kim, I got these earrings at a um, Brazilian boutique in Hollywood, in Hollywood, Florida. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I, I do love a large glass of the bubbly. Yes, I do. It's a very large glass, and I love it. And if they made a large one where I could sit in it, that would be great. Cheers. <laughs> DJ King, listen. Everybody has their vice. Wine, I'm a foodie. I'm I'm the female David Venable. I would sit in it, just sit up in it with my legs up like this over it. Yes, ma'am. Just enjoying it. Yeah, so everybody, um, is everyone on here going to Vegas? Coming to Vegas for the meetup with us? If you are, do one of these. We know the tribe's going. <laughs> so was, you know I'm a man. DJ King, will you be there? Olive Snow, we know you're going to be there. Hi, Joss. Joss, you are, you are right here. You're right here. Wine, music, good friends, and handbags, that's, nothing can be better than that. Nothing can be better than that. I tell you, when you have a set of good girlfriends that you can cry together, laugh together, drink together, eat together, share all your problems, weep together without judgment, hold on tight to those girlfriends. And I think this is what I found with my tribe. I am so happy and so thrilled and so blessed and so honored that I met this, this group of women that even though we met for the first time, even going there, I had no reservations. I had no thoughts in my mind that said, will they like me? And I've said this before in my first uh, live that the moment I saw Ivana, it was as if I had, I've known her forever. Then I met Kim, and the first time I met Kim, it was like I've known her forever. Sue's what? Military mom, Sanja. It was as if it was meant to be. And when you find a group of women who allow you to be yourself, who allow you to be broken, who allow you to show your faults, who allow you to cry, who allow you to laugh, will allow you to be yourself without judgment, hold on to those women because that is rare and we are forever bound by our by that meetup. We're forever bound by our love of handbags. We went there for handbags, but we came away with something even more substantial, something be much better, a friendship, a bond that will not be broken it will not be broken because of the this love we have for one another we have this this undeniable love for each other that we want to see each other succeed we we help each other and we're not afraid um that even if you one of us does something and if we think oh it can be better if you do this there's no resentment that 
who does she, who does she think she is? I have never had girlfriends because I realized that there are women that are envious, covetous. They are only your friends because of what you can give them. They're only your friends because they think they can ride your coattail to get to whatever destination they need to get to. But one thing we need to realize as women that on our, rail, on our road to destiny, you can't take everybody with you. Some people weren't meant to ride with you. And you need to understand that when God put people in your life for a reason and for a season, it's up to you to figure out when that, what that reason is and when that season is up. Because if they don't leave, then you leave. And another thing, when each, when any one of us hurt, we all hurt. We are like one. We're an individual, even though there's five, six of us. When one hurt, we all hurt. When one's down, we all swoop down. We drop whatever we're doing and we stay there and we pray and we, we help that one up. And I'm saying that because if there's somebody right now that is hurting or that needs it, be there for them. As women, we are nurturers. As women, we are supposed to stand tall for our husbands, for our children, for our sisters, for our mother, for our father. We can do it all. So if one of us falls, be strong for them and help them up. If one of us are broken, put them back together. Help and put them back together. Listen, if they don't ask for your opinion, shut up, listen. Sometimes you just need to listen because sometimes that's all they want is just for an ear, just for you to listen. I don't know why I'm preaching today because as I always says, my father is a pastor in this family. But sometimes, I know this is live about handbags, but when we get together as, 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 as women, we need to understand, we need to allow each other to be, even though we are one, but we still are individuals, we need to allow each other to be their individual. Let them rise, let them blossom. And when they hurt and they say, I need you, shut up, be silent, just listen. And when they say, what do you think? That's when you give your opinion and ball if you need to ball, weep if you need to weep, because let me tell you something, they will never forget that. If you give opinion that is not warranted, you may, you don't know what you can, what you're doing to that person. They may just need for you to listen and then that's it. And then they're okay. But unwarranted advice can do detrimental damage. So if we hurt, be there for each other, be there for each other. We have this thing, especially in this community, this beauty community, in this, in this space where we tear each other down or we are, we're so envious and jealous of one another. The, un the universe is like a catalog. We can all order as many things as we want because you and I will never want the same thing. Why? Because we are, we, are, we are unique. We are made unique in God's image. So just because I may want this red bag, you may hate red. You may want pink. I may hate the pink. Someone else may want the blue. But allow, allow each other to be themselves. Stop criticizing. Unless you do it in a way that the person can learn from it. But let me tell you something about the power of women and the, the ones when we are down, we have the power to move mountains. We have the power when we love somebody, we will move earth, heaven, sky, sea for them to make them feel better. And this is what I love about this community. This is what I love about our tribe. And I hope that one day when you guys meet the tribe, you will see that I'm not sitting here spewing foolishness. You will see exactly what I mean. 
I have never had friendship like the one I've had with this tribe. Outside of my family, I don't have women friends because of all the crap that I've heard. But I have found, hi, Elizabeth, Wild Woman Enchanted. Everybody, please say hello to Wild Woman Enchanted. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for joining. But as women, and check her channel out, you guys. You will absolutely love it. She's inspiring. She is absolutely inspiring. Believe me. I, I love her. Um, but as women, our job is to uplift, uplift each other. Our job is to be there for one another and not tear each other down because we are here on this earth to be of service to others. And if we can't do that, how is it you want somebody to help you when you won't help someone else? Remember, you can't ask God for something and expect him to give it to you when your sister or your brother comes to you and asks you for something and you have it and you say, no, come back tomorrow. See Mark eleven twenty three. We are supposed to, hi, Chrissy. We are supposed to hold each other close. We're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to pay it forward and make sure that each other, that we are safe, that we're in a safe ground with each other and make sure that nothing can come between us because our love for one another should be strong enough to break anything. For Wild Woman Enchanted, that's my sister, Sharon. So Chrissy, let me share. Hi, Sanja. So I just wanted to share with you before I started preaching, um, I'm just going to do a recap of all the bags. Thank you, Joss, of all the bags. So here is the patent leather Janine in pure white. And the Maddie. <laughs> Sharon. There we are. The Maddie. And then we have the Mackenzie Hobo in Fuchsia. And you know what? Let me just show it to you. So how, see how it just flows nicely and covers this? So that's Mackenzie Hobo. And oh, let me just show you. That's the Maddie. And then we have the Zip Zip Croc. I think this is, I'm not sure. Somebody can find this out if you know if this is lemon or sunflower. I really believe this is lemon. And that's my Zip Zip. It's the larger zip zip. I have not seen these. It's lemon. Yes, thank you, Juniana. That's what I thought. These, this uh, one is larger than the ones that are now on I Love Juni and uh, Juni. And then my beautiful Claremont Dome Satchel. Absolutely stunning. So those are my five bags that remind me of summer. You have the Mackenzie fuchsia, gray and purple. Oh, I love that, Olive. Wild Woman Enchanted, how do I pick? I think it's my mood. 
I think it's my mood, but right now, these two are, I, I, I can't, this says, this says, let's go to the Isle of Capri. This says, take me to Santorini, Greece. Thank you, Chrissy. I can't decide. But this I can see, as I said before, with your beautiful palazzo um, linen pants, cute little white top, and sandals, and you are good to go in in Italy. This is just, this is stunning. And take me to Greece, the Mediterranean, Santorini. I'm oh, this reminds me of the ocean of Santorini. And when I say the ocean, from the pictures that I've seen, never been there. Gorgeous. That's that's how I would pick. And I am sweating. So that is, let me see what people are saying. While I'm enchanted, I'll tell you what, we're hoping that next December, we're planning a trip to Santorini. The tribe doesn't know about it yet, but they know now. So um, just so everyone knows, uh, Duniatic 615, uh, she was going to, she was supposed to go live tomorrow at seven, but she'll be um, traveling for work. So the live has been moved up to 11 a.m. So please, everybody, please, please, please make sure you tune in. I don't want to forget that. Oh, <laughs> Sue's what says, I need medical attention, Elizabeth. I'm coming. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. But everybody, please, 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 if you ever feel a bit down, check out Wild Woman Enchanted. She's in a, a Facebook group um, with me called YouTube for Bosses. And if you watch her, you will be calm. You will be centered. She's soft-spoken. She's just a delight to watch. So please, please, please check her channel out. It's Wild Woman Enchanted. Also, check out the tribe, uh, Kimberly Mines. That's her channel, Kimberly Mines. Duniatic 615, Suzwat, S-U-Z-W-H-A-T. Um, Sanja uh, Covington, um, Millet the Military Mom Handbagger, and my sister Sharon, Sharon Newman One. Oh, Suze, that's so nice. Wild Woman Enchanted, she subscribed to you. Thank you so much, Suze. You will be, you will love her. You will absolutely, you will love her as much as I do. She's wonderful. So let me just see what everyone else is saying. So what? everyone doing tonight because is everyone aware oh yes thank you Sanja and Ivana's channel is my pursuit of happiness so it's my p-u-r-s-e suit s-u-i-t of happiness so right now Dooney is having 25% off and I love Dooney is having 60% off so what's everybody getting I'm done. I am done shopping. I am done. I know I said that already, but I really mean it this time. I am done. I'm not shopping anymore. The only shopping I did yesterday is I picked up the Jim Duffel, uh, the Siesta Key in pink for Sharon. So it's not my fault. Sharon wanted it. And the Karen, large Carrington in leaf for me. Sharon made me do it because she needed it. Oh, sure, sure, Duniatic, sure you're done. 
Um, <laughs> yes, Joss, it, it, another sale. <clears throat> oh, yes, Wild Woman. Yes, if you need it, you need it. Abs absolutely. If you need it, you need it. So it's 60% off on ilovejuni.com and 25% off on on I love on on Dooney.com. Then the the uh, outlet stores are also having 60% off. So if you are done shopping, like Dooney Addict says that she's done, and Sharon she says she doesn't need anything. Hi Teresa. Yeah, very good. Hi, Teresa. So Teresa just joined, and I am sweating. Teresa just joined. So, oh, Dooney Addict says, I need to find a money tree and a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow to fuel this addiction. That or we need to find a really, 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 really rich man and let him buy it all. That, that would be nice. And that's dreaming. But, um, oh, well, a girl can dream. So, Teresa, I'm just going to, I'm going to show you the bags really quickly. Because Teresa just joined. So, here's the Fuchsia McKenzie. Mackenzie Hobo, Teresa. Absolutely, Elizabeth, a girl must dream. Here is the Maddie. She is stunning. Here is the Zip Zip in Lemon. Here is the patent leather Janine in pure white. And the Claremont Dome Satchel in denim. So Sandra and, and Kim, you guys picked up the Mackenzie, didn't you? In what color? Oh, I'm losing the, um, and geranium. Oh, Kim, that is a beautiful color. And blue. Oh, Sandra, you got the, the, uh, fuchsia. Kim, you got the natural. I didn't know they had, oh, the natural is not on clearance. Which one did you return, Teresa? Oh, the patent one, why? Was it because of the, the, um, the opening? I didn't think I would get used to it. But I, I love it. I haven't carried the white yet, but I've carried the, um, the elephant. Why did you return? Oh, right. I did not like the, yeah, yeah, the opening. I thought so at, at when I first got it as well, but I carried the, the elephant and I just love it. Nothing came out of it because I had everything in little pouches, so nothing rolled out of it. So that's the reason I kept mine. Oh, I like it like that. I I, I like it stiff like that. That's what she said. So Sue says, I got lion's blue and fuchsia. Oh, I want to see the lion's blue. <laughs> Teresa, don't mind me. I 
my mind lives in the, lives in the gutter. The chat just went away again. So we all have, so we all are done. So we are saying that nobody is going to any of the outlets tomorrow. No one, no one is going to order. We're done for the rest of the year on tail. The tent sale, is that what we're saying? The resident enabler said she's done, which is Dooney Attic 615. She's the resident enabler. If she said she's done, it remains to be seen. Because there's going to be a Dooney show on the 21st of this month. And then there's going to be another Dooney show on the 22nd and the 23rd. If they have any ODOs one day only, I'm just saying, just putting that out there. Oh, did you, a pair of Toms, Teresa said I had a pair of Toms and some things from Colourpop. Did you get the new Colourpop, um, what is it, Mar and the other one? Is that what you got, Teresa? Oh, Dunia says so she's done for this week and next at a minimum. Believe that if you want. Oh, the Shayla palette. That is a beautiful palette. Let me know how you like it because I've heard really good things about it. Oh, yes, tribe, don't forget that we have spa night after the live. So we're going to have the tribe. We're going to have spa night. We're going to have drinking. We're going to have as weeping women, like the Bible calls us tonight. Because some of us need uplifting tonight. So we're going to rally around and we're going to make sure that whomever needs it, they're going to be okay. Because one thing that I know, that we serve a living God. And with him, all things are possible. That I believe. If I don't believe anything else in this world, I believe that. So, um, sure. We really should do, do a quick thing and then be done with it. I was just telling Sharon, let's just do a quick like we would sing for you, but she's not in the mood. I mean, she doesn't want to sing. She doesn't want anybody to know that we sing. I can't see the the uh, the chat just went away again. What was the last thing somebody sent? <laughs> Okay, Teresa. Yeah, DJ King, I'm trying to help get her to to just at least sing something with me for you guys. <laughs> it's because we grew up, we're, we're PKs, we're pastor's kids. So we grew up only singing gospel. So um, I wanted to sing something for somebody. You, you never know. So God is <laughs> Yes, he does, Olive. He answers prayers and he works miracles. He has never stopped working miracles. That I believe. So I'm listening <clears throat> by the grace. <clears throat> so I don't know that one. I remember all of it. Sharon is over here, so I'm just trying to get her. <clears throat> See, this is the one, bless the Lord. No, this is, you need a two point. It doesn't matter, you need to show me, show me that I did it. <clears throat> Sharon's saying her voice is going all of a sudden. 
Well, I'm going to try, I'm going to try it. <clears throat> right, she doesn't have to be on camera to sing. So I'm just going to try, and if she she joins in, that would be great. <clears throat> Ma'am, I don't want to sing something that I cannot remember the words for. Ready? By the grace of God, I'll sing by the grace of Thank you, Sue. So, whomever, I know, I know that if you are praying, if you pray, if you believe in a higher power, I want you to send up prayers for Olive Snook's grandson. He is going through a really trying time. He's in the hospital, I think, right now. And if you pray, please, please remember him in your prayers. And for anyone else who's going through something, whether you are going through a divorce, whether you're going, you feel like you can't go on anymore, if you want to take your own life, if you just feel that life isn't worth living, it is. It is, it's worth living. And if no one will listen to you, there's one person that is up all night. There's one person that you can always take your problems to. Friends will fail you. Parents will fail you. People will fail you. But one person that will never fail you is God. Because his love is unconditional. The love of God is greater far than tongue or pen can ever tell. Believe me, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is, break those chains and know that God is there. God is listening. God will always be there for you. All you have to do is call him. If you have to go somewhere and scream if you have to go in your closet and scream if you have to go in your bathroom and bawl if you have to find a quiet place find your quiet place and call him because i'll tell you this the billions of people that are on this earth the moment you call him he knows it's you because you are as unique as a dna so the moment you start bawling and the moment you start crying and the moment you said, help me, Jesus, help me, God, he knows it's you. Just just tell him prayer lines are always open. It's never jammed. There's never call waiting when you're calling heaven because all you have to do, you don't have to speak. All you have to do is close your eyes and call him because he can hear you. That's all you have to do. And I don't know why, again, I am preaching, but I just want you to know that I've there are articles that says when it comes to when it comes to holidays, a lot of people cannot handle holidays and holidays are prime time for people to take their own lives. I don't know what anybody's going through. 
I don't know. But all I am saying is whatever you are going through, those prior lines are open. They are open 24 seven. And all you have to do is call him up and tell him exactly what you need. That's all you need to do. You don't have to tell anybody else. You, if you don't want to tell anyone else, just find your little corner, get down on your knees, whatever it is you need to do, just do it and call him, call him, call him because life is worth living. It is worth living. That's all. Call him up. Tell him what you need. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you need. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you need. Jesus on the main line now. Why don't you call him up? Call him up. Tell him what you need, oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you need, call him up, call him up, tell him what you need, Jesus on the main line now. That's all you need to do. I, oh, thank you, DJ King. Oh, Oh, you guys, Wow Women Enchanted, I'm so happy that you were able to join us. And I'm so happy that you were, you love, you stayed and you, 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 you're enjoying this. It really touches my soul that you are able to do that. Um, Mrs. Q, so Mrs. Q is here. So I'm just going to run through this really quickly and show Mrs. Q my bags. So... This the Mackenzie Hobo in fuchsia. The Maddie in red, that Dooney Attic ones. The Zip Zip Croc in lemon. Be careful, Mrs. Q, so I'll make this quick. The patent leather Janine in pure white and the Claremont hobo in denim. So that is it, Sharon needs to pass. Go ahead, Sharon. So that is it, everybody. I will, Sharon just say hello. There's Sharon. Hi guys. She pretty? I have to go get some. Spirit. <laughs> yes. Dunyatic 615 says hello. So everybody, Suze what says hi. Hi, Suze what? Yes, Kim. Her glass is empty, but to be fair, her glass is smaller than mine. Yes, ma'am, we're having communion. Hopefully my parents aren't on the live. Yes. Um I didn't mean to start preaching. I don't know where that came from, but I just wanted people or anybody to know um, that there's help. Even if you have to email me, as a matter of fact, I, I would absolutely love it if you would email me. I absolutely would return, will reply. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter, you don't have to tell anybody else. If you tell me, it goes no further than me. Sure, pass by. They're saying hello. Hi, everyone. Focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus. There she is. So you can email me. It's in the description. It's easy. It's just Pauline E. Newman at gmail.com. So just send me an email just even if, just, just to say hello. Just do that because you never know. Sometimes you may not feel like telling. Do you ever realize that sometimes you may be going some going through something and even your best friend, you can't tell. 
but a perfect stranger. You can tell and you feel just wonderful. Sometimes that happens. So let me be that listening ear before you do anything detrimental. Let me be that listening ear for you. Let me be that if I can. And if I can't, I have a praying set of parents. I have a father, Bishop Newman. I have a daddy that can, God has blessed him. I, he's a wonderful, wonderful man and a, and a preacher can preach his butt off. But I just want you to know that if you need someone to talk to, there is help. There is, I'll be that help for you if you need, if you need it. Just, as I said, my email is below in the description. Just go ahead and email me. I'll be more than happy to chat with you. So I just wanted Yes, DJ King, we have to do that for each other sometimes. We have to, sometimes we do need somebody to lean on. And there's sometimes your your closest friend or your husband or your spouse, sometimes you ever feel like even though you're with somebody, sometimes you can still feel lonely. You can still feel lonely. And it, because you know if you tell them, they won't understand you. But if you tell another woman or even if you tell a perfect stranger, you never know. You never know who God can just walking on the street. Somebody can just say a kind word to you and that can make your day. Be it takes nothing for you to be kind and give a listening ear. to. It takes nothing away from you. But people seem to find it easy to be nasty than it is to be kind. It changes nothing when you're nasty to somebody other than show how ugly you are. But utter a word of kindness and give someone, let them feel, keep their dignity by giving them a kind word. That's blessings. You will get that back in 10, 100, or 1,000 folds. I'm not saying give to get, but when you bless someone, you pass that forward, it's a ripple effect. Believe me, I'm not telling you something I don't know about. I'm telling you from experience. When you give and you give freely and you give without any expectations of getting back, God will bless you. Believe me. Exactly, Kim, when you give from the heart. And Dunia 615 says, as women, we need to learn to compliment each other instead of being so critical. Each Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We have to, I don't know where we get this, where we need to tear each other down. I don't know where we get this nasty, dirty attitude where if my sister has something, I don't have it. So I'm going to sit there and covet what she has and then try to tear her down so that I can feel good about myself. What does that say about me? I'm the one that's spewing the venom because she has come into her own. God has blessed her. That's her blessing. It's not your turn yet. And the way you're going, you won't have a turn because your God won't bless you until you see you for yourself. Anyway, you bless the Lord, I'll be satisfied. And that is why some of us will always be angry. We will always be wicked because we can't find compassion and we can't find the love in our hearts to be happy for someone else. Until you can find that, you can't be blessed because you have to give with love. You have to be selfless with it. When you give Give freely, give of the heart, never let someone, your neighbor, your sister come to you and ask you for something and you turn them away. Tell them to come back tomorrow. I'm paraphrasing from the Bible. Don't tell them to come back tomorrow when you could have given it to them now. You will never be blessed. So all I'm saying is as women, we need to help each other up. I have no problem when I know and surround, first of all, surround yourself with like-minded people. 
my daddy used to say, if you go to a church and there are no hypocrites there, leave because you're going to be the first one. You need to surround yourself with not like-minded people. People who are going to think like you and it's going to uplift you. Those are the kind of people you need around you. The moment you hear one talking about the other one and that one, and she thinks she's all this and she thinks that she's all that, you remove yourself. Because remember something, you can't change other people and you can't change situations. But you know what you can change? You. You can change you. So what you need to do is remove yourself from that situation. And as I said earlier, there's some friends that can't go the ride with you. They weren't meant to. There's some people that you need to do spring cleaning and take them out of your life because they are venom. They are poison and you need to get rid of them because there's a saying, show me your company, show me your company and I'll tell you who you are. So when you find that you are within a group of people and they're all remove yourself from that situation. That's it. Because you're not meant to live. You are meant to live a good life. But if you surround yourself with negativity, you will always attract negativity. Whatever you give off is what you get back. Like attracts like. Have you ever looked back on your life five years ago and say, oh, my God, what did I see in that man? What did I ever see in him? Why? Because you're in a better place now. That's why you can say that. When you're with him in that messy relationship, that's because you're both messy. So you attract one another. Now that you are beyond that, you can now look back in hindsight. Hindsight is always 2020, isn't it? You can look back and say, oh my God, what did I see in him? Oh God, you are messy back then. So you attract mess. But as my father always says, God is not the author of confusion. God will never have you ready for the man of your dreams and then send you a mess. He does, he's not the author of confusion. So if you live right and if you live kindly and if you give kindly and if you treat people with dignity and treat them with respect, you will get the same in return. And something that us women need, we need to learn that. We need to learn that, especially in this platform. We need to understand that even though you like something and I don't like it, doesn't mean I need to utter that. Because I'm going to find something lovely about what you love and say, oh, wow, that is pretty. Or you look perfect today. Oh, my God, your makeup is some. I may not like your bag, but I won't say that. I'll say, wow, you look pretty today. We don't need to bring people down. There's no need for it. There's no space for it. As a matter of fact, I won't have it. And if you, if you do the same for your life, you will never have to apologize a day if you're true to you. Be honest. Say what it is you feel, but say it in a nice way. And good things will happen to you. Dear Lord, I need to stop preaching. But Daddy, if you're on, Mom, if you're watching, I love you. I know you're the pastor and everything, but um, I don't know why I'm saying this tonight, Daddy, but just saying. Okay, guys, it's, um, ladies and gentlemen, it is exactly one hour, and um, the tribe and I, we're going to have spa night. I want to say thank you. My, my chat has disappeared, so I, I don't know what's being said right now. I'm just waiting for it to come back. I wait for Sharon to look at it and tell me. One bag that was in your shopping cart that you decided to pass on or regret not buying. Exactly, Mrs. Q. Exactly how you say it. Uh, Dunia 615 says, Pauline, what's the one bag that was in your shopping cart that you decided to pass on or regret not buying? 
Therese and the Kira. Therese was 149 on Dooney and the Kira was 119 and I didn't get it. And uh, that's bothering me. And I had a 10% off on Dooney at the time and I didn't get it because I Love Dooney was having such not, much better sale. And now it's much more expensive. Actually, they're now 149 each and 20%. Yeah, it's the Reese's 139 now. Oh, on I Love Dooney. Oh, that's $10 less. But the Kyra, if I had to choose between the Reese and the Kyra, it would be the Kyra. So let me just go through and then I'll sign off, sign off because I think Mrs. Q is probably going to go live soon. Right, Mrs. Q? I'm just reading. Kim, you're absolutely right. An open heart can be poured into. A closed one can't receive a thing. Absolutely. And Sharon says, I do spring cleaning yearly. I keep, until I met the tribe, I had only two girlfriends. That was it. All my friends were male until I met the tribe. And I realized how that there are actually women like me out there that do care and were willing to treat each other with respect. I had no idea. Well, other than my family excluded, of course, but I didn't know that that existed. So I kept only two girlfriends that I when I tell you that they would die for me and I would for them, I didn't know that ex outside of my close circle that I would find like-minded women. And I, I'm so thankful every day for them because we are, as I said before, we are bound by that one experience of Memorial Day. We are bound by that forever. Um, So when he blesses the people around me, I know he's in my neighborhood. Amen. Praise him for others and praise him in advance. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Sharon's singing. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. I'll be satisfied. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. You can bless me in the morning, bless me late at night. But any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Okay, D, um, Olive Snook, my chat went away again. Give me a second. Let me wait for it to come back, then I'll um, respond, and then I'll close out. I sound like I'm giving ultra call or yes. closing out church, yes. then I'll close out. Um, yes, you do sound like that. Let's my chat has disappeared. So what was the last thing? Olive Snook said something, Sharon. Olive Snook says it's still, no. Um, yes, after my accident, found out who were my true friends were, were, do not have any true friends. Olive, one thing I've, I've, I, that's very, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Duniatic touches on a night after the ultra call. I'm sorry, Olive says, yeah, after my accident, I found out who are my true friends are. I've realized that when you're in, when you've experienced trauma or when you're in trouble, that is when you know, you found out, you find out exactly who your friends are. When you're in trouble, when everything is going well, you will have people all around you. 
But the moment you hit rock bottom, the moment you have no money, the moment your husband leaves you, the moment you lose your house, the moment you file bank uh, bankruptcy, the moment things hit the fan and people leave you, that's when you know that they weren't your friends. But you know one person that will always be your friend? I love God. God will always be there for you. So uh, Mrs. Q is doing For Real f Friday. Okay, so I'm going to close out. Teresa, I'm so glad you were able to, to uh, get back. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and close out my altar call, apparently. So I want to thank you all. Tomorrow, everyone, uh, Dooney Attic 615, her altar call or her live will be at 11 a.m. tomorrow. She's traveling for work, so she won't be able to do it at 7. So tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., please, please, please tune in uh, for um, live with my twin, Dooney Attic 615. Kim says the doors of the church were open. Olive, we love you as well. God bless you. So thank you all for joining me. I will see you back here on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the tribe as yet, please do so. Dooney Attic 615, Kimberly Mines, Sanja Covington, My Pursuit of Happiness, the Military Mom Handbagger. Um, so please, please, please uh, subscribe to these wonderful ladies. And I will see you next time. See you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, with Dooney Attic 615. God bless each and every one of you. And remember, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Pay it forward because you attract good things when you do. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night.